All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start up in the course here. I'm going to go to modules. And under modules, I'm going to go down to descriptive statistics of the mass. What I'm going to do is, you guys, make sure you read this and make sure you go to the reference. I'm going to go ahead and select on ball mass statistics. And I want to export this. So the way I'm going to export it, I'm going to say open in down here. And then I'm going to go to copy to Excel. So it says read only. You can't make changes to this file. I'm going to say save a copy. And I like Dropbox, so I'm going to put it in Dropbox. And let me find my term. This is term four. So I already have a place for ball mass. I'm just going to go ahead and put this into my ball mass folder. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I place my name on here. OK, and I'm just going to save it. All right, so you'll see that I have that there are 290 data points here. OK. I'm just going to go all the way back up to the top here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and place my statistics here. So I want to use the statistics analysis tool pack eventually um, here. Uh, no, let me just say statistical. I'm saying it wrong. It's early in the morning. Uh, descriptive statistics. Of the mass. Right, so we don't need a unit there. I'm just going to go ahead and select both C and D1, and I'm going to merge them using that um, that little symbol, that little um, icon at the top, because we're going to end up having um, stuff like uh, the mean, mode, median, standard deviation. you'll end up with range, um, also, let me see, kurtosis. Um, what's next, um, skewness. And a few other things. Um, we're going to have a few other things, but I'll, I'll go with that. Let me see. I think we'll have the maximum, have the minimum, and the maximum, and also the variance. And I'll just start stop right there because normally I, I would want this to be produced directly from, from uh, the data analysis tool pack on the desktop. But... We don't have that here, so we just have to do it by hand. So I'll just say equals to average. And so average of the mass, check mark, that's giving me my average. We have three significant figures here in the average. We add them. Okay, we have three significant figures, so we need to keep three significant figures. So I'll just reduce that decimal place. That's increasing. All right, so that is our mean and let's do our mode so this is going to be m o d e so you see how we have multi-mode and then single mode let's just go ahead and select single mode and i'm going to select column a again hit the check mark so that's the mode okay that's the thing that's uh showing up the most and let's go ahead and do the median so equals to median. So you'll see here we go. We have our median. 
And if you wanted to, you could look at the median returns, the median or the number in the middle of a given set of numbers. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to choose column A again. Okay? When I come back, I'll do the rest of these. Well, in the next video.